hearsay evidence component of the symbolic frame up and it always accepted as prima facie evidence in 1981 in the original tribunal. Persons clearly conspired and or corroborated together to conceal the truth from the families of the 48 dead patrons and the hundreds that were maimed. Just as Keane and his assistants failed and neglected to acknowledge the unquestionable three telephone calls recorded in the fire brigade control room that confirmed that the fire was through and above the roof at 1.43 in the morning when it was only a few inches high on one seat in the West Alcove. The Irish government were clearly aware in 2004 that there was no basement, that they failed to inform the families, they failed to inform the, the legal team that fought valiantly in relation to the, the copy process uh, and they did not inform us, the researchers. The Guardian continued with a cover up when it was informed, when it informed the state system in 2008 that there was no basement. Paul Coffey, Senior Counsel, Independent Examination, had no basis in law regarding the unlawful killing of 48 of our Irish citizens on the 14th of February 81. Paul Coffey, Senior Counsel, deliberately or otherwise, withheld the guard letter and the 1981 transcripts of evidence from us, the researchers. <coughs> Paul Coffey, Senior Counsel, prepared and presented to the Irish Government two final reports. Paul Coffey, Senior Counsel, the first final report dated the 8th of December 2008 was tampered with by persons unknown. The second Paul Coffey, Senior Counsel, final report had approximately 70 significant text changes to bolster the 1981 frame up. Paul Coffey, Senior Counsel, failed to refer to and consider the three telephone calls that were verified by the Fire Brigade Control Room at 1.43 am. The Paul Coffey Senior Counsel's second report on appendices of the 7th of January 2009 are still published on the internet. The published Paul Coffey Senior Counsel report on appendices of the 7th of January 2009 <coughs> are proven to be regurgitations of the framed up and flawed content of the shambolic 1981 Tribunal of Inquiry report. The published Paul Coffey Senior Counsel report on appendices of the 7th of January 2009 holds in ridicule the precise facts and truth discovered and uncovered by the diligent investigation undertaken by the research team on behalf of the families of the dead and men. We call upon the coroner now to revisit and reopen the incomplete inquests into the cause of death of each of the victims and to hear the new and truthful fact. What does the public and the world know, uh, world at large know? If you find it on Wikipedia, you have, we know <coughs> conversations and what people have said all along since 1981 about the, the, the disaster and the doors being locked and all that nonsense. But as a result of my research, and I'm talking personally here, as a result of my research, I believe the world does not know <coughs> that there is evidence of many of the following. I use the word collusion, I use the word conspiracy, I use the word of an insecure scene of the crime, interference with evidence, invention of evidence, incompetence, and I mean gross incompetence, hearsay evidence, false testimony, <coughs> untruths, and deception. I rest the case. Thank you. Yeah, but they're very consistent with their inconsistency. Well, what's <coughs> that? Yeah. Nothing, nothing yeah. ties up. Yeah. Nothing ties up. But well, we have the truth. We know the truth.